this is a novelty molecule that was found here in Texas Tech in the campus of Amarillo. So when they were presenting this in the Translational Neuroscience uh, Center, um, what a good it has a good blood-brain barrier penetrance and seem to possibly have an anti-inflammatory effect. Um, I suggested that we should do it in a mouse model for MS. So we did it in an EAE model with the pertussis. Um, it's, a, it's a pertussis toxin that you use to make them, the mice have a EAE. And we had four groups. So one was the mice without... Um, any intervention. The other one was EAE mice that didn't have any drug administration. The third one was solumedrol in the EAE my, mice. And the fourth one was this molecule. And what we found to our surprise was that there was a, um, an inflammatory response, of course, with the EAE model. And the molecule kind of had about the same response that solumedrol has as a, a the diminishing inflammation. But when we were looking at the astrocytes activation, it seemed that the molecule was superior, making basically the astrocytes go from reactive astrocytes A2 to, to uh, resting astrocytes. This could imply that it could actually offer some neuro degenerative effects, especially for disorders like MS and other neurodegenerative conditions. Um, but it's still early to speculate. We want to do a larger trial to see if we can verify that. <clears throat> and also if we can understand a little bit of which is the mechanism that led to this finding.